Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests. My name is Danny Forbes. I'm a student at Lincoln Senior High School. I would like to thank the City of Canning for providing the opportunity to hear the thoughts of youth on what makes the great city of under 25s. It is my pleasure to introduce you to my peers Dylan Jules Angham, Tabitha Long, Shrey Gupta, Lady Pawanta, and Namnik Kogel. I would like to begin by stating that for the majority of young people, the existence of the city of Canning is, unknown, is an unknown identity. In our everyday lives, we have no direct interaction with the city of Canning. In fact, the only time we are consciously made aware of our local council is in year nine, when we study government and when our parents complain about their rates. <laughs> Given this, on closer analysis, the city of Canning is pivotal to our existence in this community. As young people, we access recreation centres, youth workers, recreation and sporting facilities, school holiday programs, parklands, child health care centres and a multitude of other services. All of these services are provided by the City of Canning and here lies the problem. As young people, we are unaware of what is on offer and the channels in place to access these services. Communication between the city and young people is not very effective. This forum is the first time that the city has publicly accessed the thoughts and passions of young people. As such, what I would like to propose is greater communication and an establishment of partnership between the city and young people. The form of communication undertaken is important. Today, young people are technologically savvy. It is rare for a young person not to have a phone, an iPod, MP3 player, or a PC. It is therefore important that the city embraces these forms of communication to convey information to young people. Facebook and Twitter are the communication highways accessed by young people to communicate. And, that, and the city needs to get on board with this form of communication. A web page and telephone number is not sufficient when dealing with young people. To be truly engaged, the city must use the technologies I have outlined to reach out to young people. The city also needs to have a youth department that is proactive in the community. I understand that the city has a youth department and a community officer as well as youth workers. However, their ability to connect with young people has been limited, possibly due to lack of insufficient resources. This department must establish partnerships with institutions that young people can access, such as schools, youth centres and sporting facilities. To get, to get young people on board with the city. This department must also actively promote their services through the technologies outlined so that youth are in partnership with the City of Canning. Recently, I discovered that the city has begun to adopt Twitter as a means of communication. I applaud this move and encourage the city to further engage in the new technologies. Communication is the key to actively engaging young people who are eager to be heard. Thank you for the opportunity to express my thoughts. I'd now like to introduce you to the second speaker, Tim Jules Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests. My name is Dylan Jules Angwin, and I'm a year 11 student at Newman Senior High School. As a young person living in the city of Canning, my major concern, which shared by many of my peers, is the future employment opportunities and training. Statistics show that WA has a noticeable skill shortage and imports a lot of skilled labour from overseas. As a result, young, young people are unable to get qualifications to get into courses and trades. I would like to see the City of Canning provide a service which would connect young people with jobs and training opportunities. <clears throat> This service would provide and alert students an opening of ed openings available, areas of skilled employment, as well as provide opportunities for youth to try out skills. I'm aware that the City of Canning already has youth workers presently working in schools, but this service is limited and not accessible by all youths. One suggestion would be to set up a career office specialising in youth employment and issues directly related to youth. External from present providers such as Assembly. The service will allow young people to access youth workers and career counsellors, as well as gaining information and pathways and training needed. 
In addition, I would like to see the service work in partnership with the employers in the city of Canning that would, would will be willing to provide on the trade tra training or internships, apprenticeships, or just work experience. It is a fact that a proportion of young people do not maximise their opportunities at school, but it's when they go into the real world they realise this the situation that they face. They can't get a good job. They have very little access to training, and as they get older, training opportunities disappear. It is important that young people are supported to access employment when they are still at school. To this end, the, the Coburn Sound Council in Kunana has worked in partnership with TAFE to provide a specially built centre where youths can go out and try the trades. By participating in these programs, youth people are able to work out very quickly what their career aspirations are, then they are assisted to work at the placements. This has been beneficial to the community in a number of ways. It has provided disengaged youth with an avenue to get qualifications or experience, which has positively impact impacted upon reducing unemployment in the area. It has reduced the amount of graffiti and has also benefited the economy and the community. This centre works in partnership with the high school high schools and provides opportunities for those young people who don't who do not want to pursue an academic career. I would like the city of Canning to provide a similar service, where young people can go and try to trade. Recently, I've heard of the fantastic opportunities being made available to youth in the South Metropolitan Region. Opportunities to do with jobs, leadership, and education. These services are provided by the Canning Co Coalition organisation. At first I thought that was a partnership with the Canning Council, only to discover in fact that it was the Belmont Council, and therefore my school was excluded from participating. I would like the Canning Council to establish a partnership with businesses and schools so that similar services about the employment and training could be provided for schools in their division. When well, Western Australians can't get jobs because they don't have the qualifications that employers demand, then everyone loses, and this is reflected in the community. It is then, therefore, important for the Canning, City of Canning to provide services that will engage youth and assist them into skilled employment, which will turn benefit the city. I would like the City of Canning to take up this challenge of working in partnership with youth, employers and other services, that will assist our, our youth and have a brighter future being engaged with the skilled employment. Thank you for listening to my speech and I hope you think about what I've said.